And hey, right now I'm joined by Senator Tom Cotton, Republican of Arkansas. Senator, welcome back to Newsmax. Good evening, Greg. It's good to be back on with you. Uh, thanks so much. Sir, I want to ask you a little bit about Ohio. Uh, Columbus, you heard by now there was a police-involved shooting. It looked like a justified shooting of a young woman who was about to stab uh, an individual. We have pictures of it. It's very clear-cut. She was about to apply deadly force against the person in the pink, and she was shot and killed by police. In the aftermath of this, LeBron James left-wing uh, superstar, basketball superstar as well, tweeted this, you're next, with a picture of the cop involved. He, he deleted it a short time later, but that is one creepy tweet, sir. Your thoughts? Well, Greg, I've seen the video in question. Um, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it does appear that the officer used deadly force against uh, this woman who was attempting to stab another woman. Um, again, I don't want to jump to conclusions. We never should. Uh, we should get all the facts and have a thorough and independent review of this shooting. Um, but what LeBron James did is jump to the conclusion and incite violence against this officer. Now, he since, I think, recognized what a bad mistake he made by deleting that tweet. But is the NBA really okay? with that kind of statement? Is, is Twitter okay with that kind of statement? Uh, LeBron James consistently shills for the Chinese Communist Party for the sake of making a few bucks in the Chinese market, yet he immediately jumps to the worst kind of conclusions about his fellow citizens who are trying to protect our streets and keep our community safe. He ought to be ashamed of himself and he ought to apologize. Concur, uh, Senator. Uh, we don't have time to play all the sound, but you were brilliant yesterday, uh, earlier, taking on um, Stacey Abrams, uh, what she said, how she smeared Georgia and the consequences of her propaganda. Abrams. I, I heard some of her response. Are you satisfied with her response? Did she answer your questions? No, not at all, Greg. You know, Stacey Abrams repeatedly referred to Georgia's eminently reasonable election law as a Jim Crow law, as Jim Crow 2.0. Register that website, in fact. She reportedly was speaking with Major League Baseball, encouraging them to boycott uh, Georgia by removing the All-Star game. And when they actually took her up on her request, when they followed the inflammatory rhetoric that she used, she immediately backpedaled and said, well, what, you shouldn't be boycotting uh, Georgia because she knows that that is extremely unpopular. And I suspect that the voters of Georgia will hold it against, against her next year should she run for governor. Well, Senator, the video has gone mega viral and for good reason. Uh, you, you, you're a great statesman, it appears to me. Forgive me for sharing that, but uh, that's what it looked like to me. And she looked like a politician up to uh, uh, tricks. And I didn't like it one bit, but thank you very much for what you do and to be continued. We got to leave it there tonight. Uh, thanks, Senator. All right. Thank you, Greg. It's good to be on with you. All right. To be continued. And we'll be right back.